Now in this session I'm going to demonstrate how to apply a design theme to your presentation in PowerPoint 2016. So supposedly we, we have created the presentation and now we are ready to move to the next step. We have created the layout but now we want to go and apply a design theme. As I mentioned earlier as well, it is not necessary to spend too much time on customizing every little object of it, but rather apply a design theme. Now to apply a design theme, you go here under the design tab, and then you can click on any of those options right here under themes. This is referred to as the live preview. It's basically going to, it gives us a, a preview of what that slide would look like if we applied this theme. If you click here on the drop down, there are additional themes that you can apply and you can pick any of those. Once you pick a theme, it will apply that theme to all the slides in your presentation. So notice it changed the font here for all my slides. Now, if you prefer to have a specific theme for only a couple of the slides here, all that you'd need to do is basically select them by I'm holding down the control key here and then clicking on the slides that I want. And then you can go to any of those themes and then right click on that particular theme and then choose to apply it, that specific theme, to only the selected slides. In that way, my other slides would have the previous theme or a specific theme, but then other slides have a different design. I'm going to undo it here in my case. If you right click on any of those themes, you have also the option to set it as a default theme. That means that any time that you create a new presentation, it's going to use that by default on your presentations. Once we apply a specific theme here, notice that we also have those variations for this theme. And this is kind of new in 2016. Notice there is this type of uh, design here. It's changing the font and it's changing different components here. Notice the colors are changing and such along with the font. So you can pretty much pick any of those colors or designs that you prefer. And then you can also click and customize specific, just the color combination for your presentation, whatever it's appealing to you. Notice as well that you can change the actual fonts, the font types for your presentation and specific effects as well. Additionally, you can customize the background for your slides for this particular theme. Another thing that you can do here in PowerPoint 2016 is how to change the slide size. By default in PowerPoint 2016, since most of the laptops and the computers out there, they use a widescreen and even the projectors nowadays support the widescreen, the default is 16 by 9 rather than 4 by 3, which was a standard presentation mode. So this is where you change the layout for your presentation. So if I choose the 4x3, this is going to customize it and it gives you an option here to resize your slides and now it's going to readjust my presentation. Now notice it's more squarish like in the previous versions of PowerPoint. If I were to present this, notice it, does, it will not fill the complete screen. By the way, to present the presentation, you can also press the F5 key on the keyboard or click here in the bottom under the slideshow present mode. So if I present it, notice it's kind of squarish. Now, if I want it widescreen again, we go here under slide size and choose widescreen 16 by 9. And now my screen, it will be full when I go and present it. So you can tailor this according to the equipment that you're going to be using and the type of uh, projectors that they have when you're presenting it. Additionally here, you can format the background here. There's this background option. And you can change it so it hides the background graphics for specific slides. Now, uh, we don't have really much graphics uh, behind here, but notice there's 
an object here in the bottom. You can choose to hide the, those uh, images and this it will be applied for that specific slide and not all the slides in your presentation. Obviously you can change here additional settings that you can tweak and customize on your own. Now notice also there is a new option here design ideas and I'll cover this in the next session. This is new with the latest update of PowerPoint so you need to have the Windows updates and the Microsoft Office updates. Check the next tutorial on, on using the design ideas. So that's in a nutshell how to use to apply a theme to a presentation and how to customize the theme within the presentation and then also how to make it the default, how to apply a specific theme to specific slides within your presentation. Thank <laughs> you.